that. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Okay. So yay. What a way to start a show. All right. I'm going to let Emoji J in. Um, we usually let the room fill in like 40, 50 people. If you could do me a favor. If you haven't sent a blast in the last hour, could you go send a blast right now out to your people, your favorites? My Joe, welcome in everybody. Hi, Timmy. Hi, everybody. Um, let them know where you are. Say we're at triple stream right now. It's eight o'clock on Wednesday, the living and loving show. Come on through, put it in your own words. Okay. And tell them to come join the good vibe tribe tonight and have some good energy, get to know some new streamers, some seasoned streamers. There she is. Awesome. Jersey girl. My first guest of the night. She'll be up in a few minutes. You all get ready. Get in here. Favorite her. Hi queen. Welcome. Welcome. When DJ J Ruckus is in here, please let me know. Uh, I am keeping an eye on the chat. Of course, a few little bit of uh, housekeeping rules when it comes to featured shows. Please keep it kind, positive, and encouraging. If you're having trouble with that and you want to come back after nine, we can let you be who you feel like you need to be in that moment. But during featured shows, we really want to encourage loving, kind, supportive, encouraging comments. Favorite each other and... Um, also make sure you put it on um, focus so you don't get hit with um, other things. Thank you for the gifts, my girl. I appreciate you. Okay, wait, that was, okay. Swisses, okay, thank you for the crown. Everybody, okay, so another thing, 32,000, right? Let's celebrate. Um, 32,000 faves, favorite all the reds. And my reds, while we go through the show, King Troll, hi. Just remember, you are on duty. So I don't ask a lot of you too much. Uh, too often, but we don't kick everyone. We just remind them that it's a featured show and to be kind and we welcome them and we encourage them. And um, my reds though, if the, if the chat is rude, just remove them for an hour, okay? And then they can come back and then we can work it out. You know, they get to see a different side of triple when we're not featured, right? It's always a good side, but you know, it's different. Okay, so let's let Emoji J in. We've got the room filling up, 48 people. Thank you, send a blast out, tell them where you are. Go to your IG, tell them you're live now with Triple, and uh, let's get this show going. Shout out to Emoji J. He will be doing our intro outro. We have DJ J Ruckus doing the after show music. We have awesome Jersey girl, Boss Badge. Okay, she allegedly, I'm pretty sure she's a Boss Badge. We have Boss Badge, Sin City Robert in the building, you guys. What a great Wednesday we have together tonight on The Living and Loving Show. Put up with changes. Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light I wanna be weightless Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see her face where Ever I look, she's standing in the crowd Shawna, go back up, I don't want to, but I'm gonna try when she left me, yeah, but a little bit inside, you know, you know, maybe things are gonna be alright, cause I just wanna see her fly. I'm so sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town. I've heard of this place where people forget and you get another try. So come open up my door. I don't want to be here and let the world pass me by. I won't see your face where ever I look, I'm blinded by the light. Let go, let go, I don't want to, but I'm gonna try When she left me, yeah, but a little bit inside You know, you know, maybe things are gonna be alright Cause I just wanna see the light Emoji J, thank you so much for doing our intro, outro Every week, y'all, 130 episodes tonight this is season 11, episode six. We have been featured for 100, and you know I love the triples, 133 featured weeks. Yes, 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 I love the triples. All right, 
It's not what you think. Get your minds out of the gutter. Come on. This is a wholesome family show. Even your kids can watch, um, but don't like put them on cam. Okay. <laughs> Welcome in. Hi, we're on the meet app. This is the living and loving show. I'm your host triple. We have two phenomenal guests tonight coming up shortly. Uh, we always do three things every show. Some of you know, and if you don't just get comfortable, get in here, say hello to each other. If you are a streamer, tell people, I want you to be encouraged to be yourself and to grow as a streamer, as a viewer, as a gifter, that is what streaming is all about, at least my perspective. I see you, boss babe. Thank you so much for the gifts in advance, you all. Once the show is underway, I won't be able to do that uh, thanking in verbally, but I will do it with some emojis. So if you see me doing my hearts and my clappy hands for the celebration, that is thanking you. Please favorite the gifters, favorite the viewers that are in the chat active, the reds, also my guests. Okay, I'm excited to have them here tonight. It is a solar eclipse week, allegedly. <laughs> it's a lot going on in the world, right? Um, it's also Mercury retrograde still, started April 1st. So if you're feeling like a little slow, like you're kind of moving through mud, um, yeah, your technology might be a little glitchy. Um, you might have miscommunications more than normal. Uh, it's a great time to slow down and communicate effectively. It's a great time not to sign contracts. So if you have anything in the next few weeks that's really significant, I would push it out a little bit further, maybe to May. Um, but Mercury retrograde is important because it lets us reflect and revisit things in the past. So um, if you wanna know more about that, we can talk about it after the show. Our goals tonight, well, we just hit one, 32,000 faves. Thank you so much to all of you who have favorited me over the four years of streaming. Welcome in everybody. Let's go. It's a big Wednesday night, eight o'clock Eastern. We're here every week and this is our 130th show official. All right. Our healthy living tip of this week. Now for some of us, and I say us because this is for me too. Um, it's hard. I'm, I love to love. I love to love others. When it comes to loving me, and if you can relate, you don't have to say a word, but if you wanna put it in the chat, you can say me too, or I have that challenge as well. But I want you, I empower you this week and implore you to invest in you. And I want you, and it sounds simple, but it's hard for some of us givers, okay? Be kind to you. Be kind to you, yourself. Okay, I know many of you in here that join me week after week are also givers. You're also people who believe in others. In fact, you may see potential in others more than you give yourself credit, okay? Uh, if you can relate, say it in the chat. If you just wanna sit with that for a moment, I want to empower you to be kind to yourself. I want you to love yourself more. You are phenomenal. You have survived everything up until this point. You are thriving. You are, you are here, okay? In in midst of a very unprecedented time, shall we say? 2024 is a whole vibe, right? So please, as you move forward this week, top badge legend in the building, be kind to you, okay? Because when you're kind to you, you're going to be kinder to others, and it's a win-win, win-win, okay? And we love a triple win. Hi. Welcome in everybody, 103 viewers. Thank you so much. Please send a, a blast out. Tell them that awesome Jersey girl is in the building as our first guest. And DJ J Ruckus is gonna do some after hours music for us, but also be a guest on our show tonight. Get comfortable, get relaxed and enjoy the show. All right, our healthy, we did our healthy living tip, our loving affirmation. I might be a streamer. <laughs> um, Love speaks to me all through the day. So I want you to remember that whatever you're going through, life loves you. You are loved. You are lovable and you are loved. And when you don't know what to do, focus on the love. Pull it back to the basics. Keep it simple, silly. Keep it simple, sweeties. Uh, kiss, right? That's one of my favorite things is keep it simple, sweeties. That's the new version. Uh, love is an infinite intelligence that will always help you if you let it. 
So sometimes just pulling back, being kind to yourself and remembering that you are loved, life loves you and you can do this. There's more than meets the eye to you. Your aura is huge. Your aura is huge. Okay, when you're tapping into your, your human potential, it's way bigger than your body. Okay, just like the John Mayer song. All right, it's almost time for our first guest interview. But before we do that, remember, we do triple things every week, right? The healthy living tip, living, the loving, the loving affirmation. And while we do some laughs, we do some jokes, because I'm live, love, laugh. I was triple L for many years on here. <laughs> live, love, laugh, 20. 110 that is my original username and um i still hold true to those values all right so let me get my peepers <laughs> welcome into the show thank you for being here thank you for all the gifts all right here we go which is lighter the sun or the earth which is lighter the sun or the earth The sun, because it rises every morning. But I'm bum boom. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's a joke. Okay. I didn't say it was a good joke. <laughs> it rises every morning. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's put the silly cat ears on. Why not? Let's be silly for a minute. Okay. Again, this is all in good fun. This is to lighten the spirit, lighten the mood, because you know, life is heavy sometimes. Streaming can be challenging a lot. And uh, a lot of things are happening on the apps. Okay, let's be real. So let's like lift our energy. Laughter is one of the best uh, healing vibrations we can, we can have. Um, so I love to joke um, and I love a good laugh. All right, second joke, and then we'll move into my first guest awesome jersey girl in the building boss badge there she is you guys get ready when you're ready my dear request the guest box and we're gonna dive into her interview in life and love as an amazing human streamer boss badge vip yeah you wanna you wanna be here for this and spam those emojis that crown and that beautiful moon spam them those are her, her emojis in her name um right there in the chat all right who was the first man in space who was the first man in space again jokes okay so put on the silliness that's why we got the silly cat ears who was the first man in space the man in the moon have we ever really been to space hmm i don't know <laughs> we'll talk more after the show all right thank you for being here welcome and we have our first guest interview of the night she is someone I have seen on the platform, moving and shaking, okay? She is a hardworking woman. She is gorgeous. She's talented. She's a fun streamer. And she's out here in the Meet Me Street. She's only been streaming for triple months, I think, okay? I feel like she said about triple months, three months. And she's already hitting the goals, okay, to be top badge. So I will say, on the road to top badge awesome jersey girl let's and former boss badge absolutely black vip doing the things here she is welcome in our first guest spam those emojis and gift away spoil this queen hi guys hi Thank you welcome me, honey i so appreciate you i'm excited for you to be here um i like i said i've seen you around the app of course Sin City Robert, Top Badge Sin City, awesome. And he's always encouraging me to pop in and, and, and support your events and see you. And I was like, I got to get her on the show. So I'm so glad it worked. Thank you so much. Tell us about you. How did you become a streamer? So I know Robert in real life. We've been friends for a long time. And he told me, he's like, you have an amazing personality. You need to try this. And I was so nervous. I was like, how can I do this? I didn't even know what streaming was. So I got into it and my journey has just, it was like a roller coaster and it's still going. Um, I've been doing it for three months and I hit gold too. I've hit a chocolate bar. That was a two milli. Um, Holy moly. Bossy, threw it on me. 
Um, I've hit a couple golden dragon wheels, a 500k bonus, a couple other bonuses. So I've been, I've been, my supporters are what keep me going. Um, I'm applying for top edge at the end of this year. Um, I just hit my six milli today. Um, Congratulations. I'm going, to, I'm going to live fest. Everybody, I hope to see you there. Um, I'm trying to hit seven milli before live fest. Oh so my gosh. I'm Absolutely. On, I'm on a win streak. Um, I would say my biggest driver is my support system. I would not be here if it wasn't for my fellow streamers, my gifters, my lawyer supporters. I'm almost at 5,000 faves. So I let's get it tonight. Let's I get it for her tonight, you guys. She is so close. When I looked at your bio and then you told me how long you've been here, I was like, what? You are just outstanding. I mean, literally the awesome, putting the awesome in awesome Jersey girl. Um, and congratulations on those are huge successes and you're doing it. You're doing amazing. Um, and I love that you have this great network of support. That is key, right? It's more fun when we have a good vibe tribe it is. around us. It is, it is. And my, my supporters are what keep me pushing myself to be a better streamer. I started doing this just as, you know, fun, but I turned it into a side career. I'm, I'm taking this very seriously. This is a career for me. And my people are what make me want to keep pushing harder. That's just my, my I love my people. Snowman, uh, Shaheen, Sensei Robert, some of my people are here right now. And they've, I love you guys. I mean, you're what make me who I am. You're my identity. You push me to go harder. To create really good content. I want things to be fun. Um, I do fave parties on Fridays. Um, it's not a featured show, but I do it to support smaller streamers, to build up their confidence, to build them up so they can make it what they want it to be. I do box parties, I do trivia, I do games. So I try to make my stream a lot of fun. And you're succeeding, absolutely. Um, yeah. You guys, if you're just joining us, <laughs> Favorite, this queen, awesome Jersey girl. She is a live streamer here. She's a black VIP badge, former boss badge, but always a boss badge to me. I mean, that's a next level type of vibe, you know, and um, and already hit six milli. Tonight, I hope you get that 5,000 faves. You are so close. I, I don't even, let me, let me get the number. Okay, let's just do it. It was so close. I saw it early. Oh, it won't, does it show me? Okay, you all, she only needs, let's see, six, 36. We need 236 people and we have almost 200 who have popped in this room. If you all tap the favorite on awesome Jersey girl right now, she's going to hit it. She's going to hit it. Okay. And we're going to, and I love that. And every milestone is so important to celebrate because it really does take a lot of time and energy as you you're showing. And, and it's a lot of investment kind of behind the scenes, right? You know, where you're planning out your events and things. So kudos to you. Welcome in everybody, hit the favorite on this queen. Okay, so your supporters keep you going. You're gonna apply for top badge. You said by end of year, I feel like it could be sooner, but you know, we'll see, right? Um, you're going to Live Fest coming up in just two months. That's exciting. Um, what else do you love about streaming? You're making it a side career. I love that. Anything else um, that you love about stream? Well. We're gonna dive into love, but I wanted to get like one more thing um, from you that you just, because it is something different than anything else in the world, right? Being a live streamer, successful, right? A consistent live streamer is is like nothing else. Would you agree? It, it, you're absolutely right. Yeah, I mean, there's no words. It's it's it takes a lot of work. People, yes. I underestimated why I wouldn't say it's hard. But it's not hard if you if you enjoy it. It's worth every breath you take, everything you put into it. It's so worth it, and it's so rewarding. Like knowing that I'm helping newer streamers, like figure things out. They don't know really much of anything, and sometimes they come back from streaming before. There's all sorts of circumstances, but just I I just I like to be a wealth of knowledge if they're open to it. Um, and people come to my stream because they, they know they, it's a safe place. They can have fun. They can be themselves. They don't have to portray themselves to be something they're not. I love that. 
an open energy, fun, loving stream, yes. um, music, games, fave parties. Every Friday at what time is your, your fave parties? I do it Friday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Okay. And I have DJ Perfect. Smooth Blends that does my DJing for me. I love it. Yes, and the DJs are, are awesome, right? The DJs in live oh, community, wow. outstanding. And they really bring such life to our to our channels, our broadcasting. And so you guys have to join in this Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Eastern to Awesome Jersey Girls' favorite party. And let's get her to her 5,000 face tonight. Wouldn't that be awesome? Okay, um, can we talk about love? Sure. Okay. Now, before we dive into love, I want you to only say what you want and answer what you want if I get too nosy, because I love love, um, but I want you to share what you want to share. But when it comes to love, what did love look like before live streaming for you? Um, I've had a lot of misfortunes in my life um, where things just never worked out. So pretty much I am single right now. Um, I am bettering myself as a person and right now love is kind of on the back burner. I mean, I'm, if someone comes along and sweeps me out my feet, that's one thing, but I'm more focused on friendships, building them on the app, um, trying to be there for people, uh, for like support and mastering my craft and making my stream a safe place for people to come to and making sure I take care of my stream and my people. That is my main number one priority. Um, streaming has been everything for me. Um, on the side, when I'm not streaming, I do make time to hang out with friends. I'm really big into fitness. So I also do my little gym streams where I'll do classes or I'll talk to my people, you know, when I'm in, you know, different classes or when I'm working out. But majority of the time I try to stream at home because I like to be more involved with my people and being more one-on-one -on -one and being more social with them. I love that. I know so, she did, Robert. Um, welcome. I want to you know, <laughs> took my Millie today. Thank you, Queen. Congratulations. Big you. six Millie, y'all. Come on, let's get her the 5,000 faves for top batch application. Not that she needs to rush it, but she is just on a roll. This is awesome, Jersey girl. I love the way you like enhance your name with the capitals. It's so awesome. You are literally a whole vibe. Um, I appreciate what you just said about having hardships in love and being open about that. Not sharing too much because you're you're obviously private life should be private. I believe that even if we share a lot, um, you know, being open to love is what I heard you say, but not not rushing it focusing on you, like Lexi was kind of co-signing with you, just yeah. working on you, loving you, um, and the gym streams. Tell me more about that, because all of us, especially a sedentary, you know, we sit, some of us, well, we stand, some of us work out, you know, Nurse Joy's great at doing workouts on stream too, but yeah. getting active is such a great part of life and mental well-being, physical well-being. So tell us about that, um, because I would love to tap into those. In fact, I think you have one coming up tonight. Is that right? Are you going to stream? Um, um, I'm going to be doing a, a stream from home tonight. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, I was going to do the gym, but then I was offered to be in your show. So I was like, yeah, I'll all bets are off. I'm putting everything on the back burner. Oh, um, thank you. Oh, I love that. But also, I want you to get your exercise. But I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm glad they made room for me today. So thank you. Um, so my gym streams, you know, they're they're usually not planned. They're usually on the fly. Usually, what I try to do is I do Zumba classes, lifting classes. Um, my stream varies on the traffic coming in because I can't interface with my people because I have to focus, especially when I'm lifting heavy, I have to focus on my form and I yes. can't, you know, be dropping the weights and just saying, I mean, I lift heavy. I lift well over 55 pounds when I'm doing squats and stuff. So I can't just drop it and be like, okay, I'm going to talk to my people. If I'm in though the open gym area, like Shaheen said, if I'm on the treadmill or things like that, I can actually talk to my people. Usually I'll do, do that before or after a class. So usually I dedicate like an hour slot where I'm talking to my people, I'm doing battles, I'm doing stuff like that. I'll do date box just to keep it interesting. 
I love it. Yes, someone, Kane's asking if you're a certified personal trainer or no, you just really enjoy fitness. I actually have a couple friends that are, but I just like sharing my journey. Um, I've had, I, I was going to stop doing it and then people were encouraging me to continue to do it because they would say to me, you know, awesome, you're creating emphasis on health and awareness and being more healthy. It's making them want to get off their couch and go to the gym. A few people actually that have come to my stream said, I got a gym membership and I chose to go to the gym because you motivated me to do so. That makes me feel good. Absolutely. And that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Even watching someone work out y'all. And I know, come on now. I mean, it's a little like, but it is, it's inspiring. It's motivating. It encourages us. Even if we're waking up, you know, and we turn on our favorite streamer, awesome Jersey girl, and we, we log in and she's doing our workout. That is, it's encouraging. It, it's what we, our audio visual is so powerful. That's why I encourage so many of us to stay in positive streams like yours, where you're getting upliftment because whatever we're putting in it we're we're it's more than what we think right it's yeah. literally in, affecting our whole mood and everything so thank you for doing that for the stream community even if it's just your workout and you're just heavy lifting and beast moding is what i call it in the gym you know and doing all of those amazing things that's that's empowering others to to do something similar or at least get going so yay and keep going with that um, you guys spoil her. Let's get her seven milli. I mean, come on, let's see a dragon fly over this. Oh, God, I seven milli before last this. Let's do this. <laughs> Those chocolate bars. Um, I know, and live fest is so exciting. So before I let you hop off, I want to um just let you once again kind of say hi to everyone. Get in there, Tony. Tony, get thank in there, y'all. <laughs> yes, let's go. Yay. I love that one. Isn't that an awesome one? So cute, so fun. And um, can I make an announcement? Up to the top. Can I just say something really quick? I wanted Absolutely. to thank my gifters. I mean, not all my people that come into my stream are gifters. I have people that just like to hang out, but people like Beautiful Blessings. I want to do a shout out to that queen because she has been one of my supporters since day one. Sin City Robert has been one of my supporters. Shaheen. I have a multitude of people that believe in me. And beautiful blessings i know that you network with a lot of people and you know a lot of people so for me being a smaller streamer growing myself on this app having people like you motivate me to want to do better because it's a godsend and it's amazing to have different people of different walks of life all over the world like they could visit any streamer on this app and i have people that believe in me and believe in what i'm doing and they pushed me to be, to work harder. And I've even had a couple situations where I've had friends of mine that were bullied on the app. People don't realize how bad anti-bullying is on social media platforms. So I tell all my people, my stream is a safe place to be because I welcome everybody. I don't care if you're a top gifter, if you're a new streamer, if you just wanna come to hang out, I welcome everybody into my stream. I do not keep anyone from coming in. I welcome everybody with open arms. So that's one of the biggest things I can say. Everybody's important to me. Everyone is my supporter. Everyone is my people. I love everybody. And, and it is so important because we don't know what battles people are fighting in their journey, right? Exactly and right. what they're going through. Exactly. And I appreciate you just giving a space for people to come and be. And yes, we're gonna have folks that do the things that aren't so great. And that's just real life and it's stream life. But to have a place where people can come and be themselves is one of the best things we can offer as streamers because we really do influence and inspire others more than we realize. I get note after note. I don't share them often. I, I just kind of tuck them in my little like love pocket, you know, as motivation when things are hard for me, that people are inspired in our streams, whether it's a laugh or a fave or a good vibe, or just to be a part of something. Some people, so many people are lonely these days, right? I don't know if you've noticed that, but they're lonely. Yes. And just to sometimes have someone in their earbud while they're doing their work or just living life, it makes them feel connected. And so thank you for doing that. I am, I'm grateful for you. And I and go into, you know, when I'm not streaming, 
you can ask blue, beautiful blessings. I go and you can ask and say, and you can ask Shaheen and snowman, all my people, I see you all. And I love you all. And if I did not say your name, I apologize. I know who my people are and I see you guys. The comments are amazing. I, during the day while I'm at work, I go into people's streams to hang out with them just to say hi. Like I'm not always streaming. I do make the time to go visit other people's streams. So one thing people don't realize is you have to have that connection with your people to make time to go to them as well, because some of them are making a living off of this and they are also streaming. So they can't make all the time to go to you all the time. You have to make an effort to go to them as well. That is super important for people to support. You have to do mutual support for your people. Yes. And I, you, I would say if anyone in here is a new streamer or you're just getting started, or you're really trying to grow your stream, this, this queen right here and the folks in the chat, including myself, these are the folks you should be around because iron sharpens iron, you know, good vibes spread more good vibrations learning from the best of the best which are the folks you've listed you know the people that really know what they're doing as far as the live stream community uh they've they've succeeded on huge levels that i haven't even hit and i'm still proud of where i'm at but those those things make a difference so connect with these amazing humans follow their social media go and network because that is the biggest part of growth here on all the platforms right if we're on this is networking and getting to know your vibe your vibe tribe and um I love it. You're a phenomenal woman. I'm so glad to have you here at the meetup. Uh, I can't wait to see what comes down the path for you. Uh, I hope to see you at Live Fest. Um, anything else you want to share with us before uh, we close out um, this interview? But I hope just, you'll stay for a few more minutes. I, I will hang out. Yes, absolutely. So I just want everyone to know that like, if you ever are curious, like what you can do, like to make your stream better, I am an open book. Um, if you guys have questions, you can come into my stream and I am always willing and eager to learn what I can do to better myself as a streamer, because I'm not half as successful as half the people on this app. Like I'm still learning and I still have a lot of growth to go. I think I've come a long way, but you can always improve and do better and learn more from other people and just be better at what you do. Make it better, make it better and keep driving. I agree. And there's a, there's one right on time being a odd human in the chat, but you know, everybody's got big cojones and ovaries behind a keyboard, right? Uh, uh, it's not fun though, but we, we help them on to the next stream. Um, we, it wouldn't be a live stream without at least one, you know, being silly. Right. Um, <laughs> and, and, and that is part of, being in good spirits when you're streaming i know you know this uh, if you're gonna be successful as a live streamer you're gonna have to take what comes and find strategies to work around it right laugh it off do that block button real quick don't even acknowledge it ignore so many ways right to do that but it's important to just not let the haters get to you um because most of the time they're very sad individuals themselves right so it's not worth not worth it. I know you're saying you give a safe space. Well, let me ask you before I let you go. I could talk to you forever. Okay. But big air hugs. First of all, you guys, awesome Jersey girl, Thank hit you. that favorite, follow her social media. We're wrapping up this interview. I love her. You guys need to go to her live tonight. You need to go to her favorite party on Friday, but what do you do? How do you, being that you're an open streamer, you want to welcome all, but when someone's being rude and disrespectful to your guests or to your, you know, whoever's in your chat, how do you handle that? So <laughs> she, he knows how I roll. He's one of my bouncers. So I actually made the mistake of making everyone bouncers. I learned really quick. Um, not everyone takes the bouncer role seriously. They don't understand like you have to keep track of the stream and help the streamer control the flow of traffic coming in. So I had to redo my, my bouncers. I had to do a reset. I only kept five now. Sin City's one of my bouncers. Uh, uh, Shaheen's one of my bouncers. So they know the rules. If you come in with no, I'm going to make you one beautiful. I had to do a reset. I'm going to put you back on because something happened with my thing. But uh, beautiful was one of my bouncers too. But what I did was I no face, like no picture, gone. Um, if you're disrespectful to myself, my bouncers, or anyone in my stream, gone. 
if you come in and you don't say anything, usually I let that slide, but I feel it's a sign of disrespect. You come into someone's room, at least say hello. Don't like leave and just not say anything. And I like also people to say goodbye when they leave. They don't always do that. But when you're having a conversation with them, you don't want to be talking to yourself. <laughs> right. And then that happened to me. I'm like, what happened to so-and-so? They left me high and dry. And that happens all the time. And lurkers, you're right, sin lurkers. But yeah. Agreed. Yes. And I love all those strategies and they all work and, and we use them in different ways, right? Different days, different ways, but it does it, making your channel, your channel and, and enjoying it and making it safe for all means having to do a little bit of blocking a little bit of, yes, in a perfect world, we'd all be friends and all get along. But we know that, especially when, again, these keyboard warriors get out here and do odd choices um Probably we gotta help them exactly. do another stream right exactly. we just don't need to engage in that so shout out to you for having a wonderful stream that's inclusive but wants to also connect it's a live stream why come in and not talk that's i mean at least true. like you said say hi and say bye kind of thing um but yes amazing you awesome jersey girl thank you so much i hope we got your faves up thank you for being here you're a phenomenal streamer, phenomenal woman, and I can't wait to spend more time with you soon in your streams. It was great meeting you. Oh, and beautiful blessings. Make sure you come visit me tonight so I can set the bouncer status for you again if you have an opportunity. I want to make sure I get all my people in check. Yes, my yes. At what time are you going to be live? Um, I you? will be live, you guys, in one and a half hours, 7 p.m. Okay. Pacific. So let's go, you guys. Give me in uh, one and a half hours, and I will set you on reset. Amazing. I can't wait. I you get awesome, Jersey girl. Beautiful blessings. I will give that to you, sweetheart, because you took my Millie. Yes, ma'am. Woo! Yes, big six Millie, y'all. Hit today on our way to 5,000 faves. Follow her social media so you can see I love her you all, guys. Thank are. you for having me, Triple. And you are a beautiful woman. Thank you, my dear. And you have a great mm -hmm. stream. You're so positive. I love it. Love the energy. <laughs> Thank you. All right, my dear. We'll see you soon, you guys. Keep, I, I hope she'll stay in the chat with us for a few more minutes. We have our second guest coming up. If you're here, hi, how you doing? I'm Triple. I'm your host. It's the Living and Loving Show. You're with the Good Vibe Tribe. We're GVT here on the Meet app. I am a streamer of over four years. And our show, this is our 130th episode. Um, so yes, two and a half years featured. If you've not done anything every week for 130 weeks on a live streaming app, try it. See how, see how it goes. All right. Thank you to the 32,000 faves. Please favorite the folks in the chat. Okay. I promise you it's great energy in here. I promise. And if they're not your vibe, you can always unfave later, but you know, most of the time when I say it, it's true. Since top badge, Sin city, Robert boss badge, top badge, Lexi. Okay. We had our number one gifter right now is Tony G. Thank you so much. Uh, VIP Tony G. We have boss Sin city, Robert in the number two spot. And we also have, I think I'm saying it wrong and my eyes are like getting old, but Sunrises as number three of the stream gifting. Thank you so much. We are going to welcome in my second guest. Ditsy's in the chat. She is awesome. We spent time this morning. Welcome in everybody. Soulful is in here. Thank you for the chocolate bar. You all, this show will be featured on YouTube by Emoji J and I will send it out to my guests um, once it's posted and I'll also link it to my Instagram. So please follow my social medias and join me where I live stream. Okay. Are you ready? for the second guest. Beautiful blessings in here, boss badge. Sorry, queen, I, I wanna shout you all out. So spam the chat, put some, let's put some Jamaican flags. Could we do that for our second guest of this night? His name is DJ J Ruckus. He is a long time friend of mine in the stream dream. He is a DJ. He um, is an amazing human. He's been through a lot of things in life, like many of us have. And I am so happy to welcome him back to the Living and Loving Show. And after the show, in about 15, 20 minutes after his interview and I wrap up the show, we're going to have him back in to do some live music. We're going to talk about an upcoming event this weekend and next weekend. So Soulful Six is in here. DJ 
Dream, if she's in here, both of them are hosting music festivals here on the Meet app. So this is a wonderful place to tap into your music love and to the people that love music, whether they create their own lyrics, their own um, instrumentals, or they're DJing and mixing beats. So please, um, that is a passion of mine. Many of you know this. So these people are phenomenal and link up with them. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? He was requesting the box. He's ready. All right. Here he is, DJ J Ruckus on the Living and Loving Show with Triple. Hi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Wagwan. Wagwan, everybody. How you doing? How are you? Happy Wednesday night. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You yes. Shout out to everybody. Yeah, man. <laughs> Pull up your Jamaican flag, people. See you there. May I tell you? Dra. <laughs> <laughs> let's do. So let's. You and I. We've known each other. I think it's been close to my whole stream journey. But tell people. Tell people when you got started and how you've consistently stayed one of the best DJs on the platforms. Well, you see. I pretty much been consistent on it from i would okay i'll take it way back 2018 in june that's when i've been starting on this meet me up and i'm not gonna lie people it was fun it was a lot of fun i just come on here just okay since i'm single the single life thing but then i take a part and say you know what let me try this out. Have my local DJ sit here and there. I got a good response. Yes. And there's some responses. They don't really comply. So in that case, I just press block and delete. Bye bye. <laughs> right, bye, -bye. See you later. Just catch you in the next stream. Um, That's right. So you have been on a lot of the the big music shows here on the platform can you tell us a little bit about that yes i've been to norcal dj battles in 2021 in march thankfully that i won it for the first time dj battle first time involved in the competition and yes. it's like that's what i'm talking about and a lot i get I get so many backflashes from not many people, but one person. <laughs> for winning? For being the winner? Yes, because I, when I do my, my transition, I did like a huge train wreck. So <laughs> he will say like, because of the mic I was yeah. using, meanwhile, engaging the, my viewers, like an yes. audience, it saved me. Because uh -huh. nobody on that competition that time used a microphone to engage in the crowd like an audience. I see. So, so you yeah. had a different style. You did something different. That's right. I love it. How yeah. long have you been a DJ prior to becoming a live streaming DJ? Um, when, when did you start with your vinyl collection? Well, I started in 1998 i would say in um in the summertime i'll say in june yeah pretty much in june. so for six shout out to you girl i see you six is in the building 26 years as a dj yes that's a long time but but that's when i start collective vinyl in 1998 but i started when I was like 10 years old. So pretty much like over 25 years. So next year will be 30 years I've been doing it. And that's a long time. It is. But music is so magical. What, what do you love about music? What, I mean, obviously it's a passion. It's something, it's a life. Well, the main thing main thing I love about music is because um, it keeps me out of a lot of trouble. 
which is the one thing. The second thing is, it's like when I play the music, I'm telling the story for what I'm going through. If I'm not telling the story, then I'm delivering the message to the people through the music. Because if I can't come, if it can't, if I can't deliver it from my voice, then I let the music do the talking for me. Because music is a universal language, mm-hmm. and with music, brings a lot of people together. It does. And also, does. shout out to Amazing Jersey Girl. Yes. That's her name, right? All yes. right, awesome. yeah, awesome. man. Awesome Jersey Girl, wasn't she a whole vibe? I mean, could you just feel her energy oh. coming through the? Yeah, interview? man. Yeah, she's a good vibe. Yeah. Can't complain about that. So and it's a, and it's, she's doing like a six that. milli party. Hey, if you need me as a DJ, let me yes. know. <laughs> I hope you added her social media. I think every one of us is always looking for a DJ for an event. You know, a lot of us streamers, whether it's a milli party, anniversary, stream anniversary, or just for fun, just to kind of keep a vibe on a on a weekend or even midweek, right? Like tonight, we're gonna do it in just a few minutes, right? We're gonna have you have correct. You some music okay so y'all if you're just joining us 426 viewers hi happy wednesday evening april 10th 2024 this is my second guest of the night dj j ruckus he and i have been friends on the app for four years um yeah so pretty much about some upcoming events that you have i know we talked uh i mentioned briefly dj dreams music festival yes coming up this weekend and also soulful six has one the next weekend in 420. Hello? um so, <laughs> so tell us that's about right the other events. like give us the the rundown on things coming up for you uh in the well in the meeting streets well i would say this weekend it is something to remember people dj dream come up come a idea of a spring music festival since uh of march because she was had like a a birthday stream in february triple l girl it was phenomenal i had a set to do for 10 o'clock what happened i fall asleep (laughs) Uh, so what happened is when all the DJs play their set, I come on last minute to end it off. And the life was even blowing up even more. I love it. So with that being said, a lot of people and the DJs were still thirsty for more of that kind of uh, content. So she said, all right, she put together a spring music festival for this Saturday, April 13th. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time till midnight. But I'll be on the Sunday. And you're going to be on the Sunday? The Sunday? Yes, April the 14th. I'll be on the Sunday, April the 14th. My DJ set is 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. 8.30 Sunday night will be your set. Um, And there's so many musically gifted people tuning in uh for her festival or or performing yes for her festival that is correct um and she was a guest not too long ago on here i know you were here with us um and she has a unique journey and how music has saved her life after suffering from life-changing physical ailments just in the last few years she's able to come back alive and music literally saved her life so and it still does so i'm so proud of her because she's me doing too all this absolutely um while i took to listen to her her, her what she been to her testimony is like it's emotional like yo it is. Yeah. like and just like what you said earlier when you talked to amazing jersey girl that you don't know what people are going through people come to a play on the street for like get out of reality because this could be their last day you don't know that's why i always tell people this show love to one another 
tell them that you love them. If you don't have the chance, tell them from now. Because there is a DJ that I know in real life. He used to come on this app. He passed away in February from a heart attack. And I went to his funeral last month in March. So you see what I'm talking about, people? You yes. can't take life for granted. I do. I hear you. Whatever uh, issues you have with anybody, make sure you resolve it from now. Yep. That's a good, that's a good, it's a good reminder um, that life is fragile. Handle it with prayer. Make sure that's the streamers right. you're, you're linking up with are inspiring you and encouraging you uh, because life Absolutely. is Absolutely. And but yeah, people, the lineup for this weekend is going to be very, 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 very yes. extraordinary. Um, Sunday, 8.30, That's the word. linking up with your, your Instagram and your bio would be a great way for them to see your info on that, right? That is um, correct. Also, I'm promoing it in my Instagram. I know DJ Dream is. So it's going to be all over the app, you all. You're going to have to tune in. Um, and come and see these amazing artists get together and celebrate life and music with DJ Dream and her festival this weekend. DJ J Ruckus will be there. I'm going to um, see if Emoji J is in the building. He is. I'm going to ask, are you okay with hopping out for a second? I'm going to let him do our outro since we're almost out of feature. Perfect. Um, no problem. Back in, and then we'll talk a little bit about the love because you know that's my favorite. Yes. And then we're going to get into the music. So after nine yeah, o'clock, start. Doing the Sounds that good. <laughs> DJ J Ruckus, y'all. Thank you, King. I'll see you in a minute. All right. Welcome in, everyone. If you're just joining us, please hit the favorite up top when you're ready. Please favorite my guest, DJ J Ruckus. Awesome Jersey girl. All the folks in the chat, say hi if you're in here. Let people favorite you from this good vibe tribe here on the Meet app. I am your host, Top Badge Triple. I'm going to invite an emoji J to do our outro video. I'll recap the show. We're going to have some live DJing from DJ J Ruckus in just a minute. Thank you for joining us. We're here every week, Wednesdays at eight. And I appreciate your time, talent, and energy as you come in. Thank you for all the gifts and emoji J take it away, my dear. I'm put up with changes Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light I wanna be this Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see her face where Ever I look, she's standing in the crowd I'm so sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town. I've heard of this place where people forget and you get another try. Thank you, 